we're here in Holly Springs today to celebrate the launch of our fiber networks. We've been working for several months here to uh, bring fiber to wide parts of the community and today marks the day that we're turning on our first customer. The provider I'm using now is very inconsistent. Uh, there are times where you know, higher use in the neighborhood actually causes my speed to slow down. So um, I can't always guarantee that the, the, the kind of service I'm going to get is consistent. That's one of the appeals of fiber is that I'm pretty sure I'm going to get a similar bandwidth experience all the time. The thing that's most important about Holly Springs is it's our first uh, clean build. It's our first time where we've gotten to look at a geography and plan the build and do it in the most efficient way possible. You know, in the deployment phase, you're doing a lot of what we say is dirt and hard work. So you're digging a lot, you're burying a lot of conduit and cable, and then you've got to make sure on a network side that um, when you're launching gigabit internet, you have the sort of technical horsepower to make sure that when many people in a community come online, bringing all of their devices, that you've got a rock solid network that can deliver the speeds that people are expecting. So one of the reasons we decided to start looking at fiber is we were just kind of at a crossroads where we needed a lot more bandwidth to our facilities and looking at what was going to come online in the future as a fast growing town and what demands the residents had as far as what we provided them within our facilities. We really like Holly Springs as a market for a number of reasons. Uh, it's a very fast growing community. It has a very technically literate um, communities. So there are lots of people here who are cord cutters. There's lots of people here who understand the value and the power of gigabit internet. We cut the cord many years ago and so to be honest my whole house does watch most of their content over streaming. Um, and it's not even on TVs anymore. It's on tablets and phones and wherever they happen to be sitting at the time. So not having to worry about how many kids are streaming video or other things while I'm trying to get some work done in the office is also an appeal. So some of the challenges have been just educating what right away access is. It's, um, and, I, and I admit, if I did not work for the town and I didn't work with utilities, that I would not personally understand what right away access is and how the 8 process works. So we found an opportunity to try to work and, and educate on that. They really did a good job not tearing up the yard. We uh, were really kind of concerned about that. When looking at the construction process with dirt and tarps and trucks everywhere, and it looks like a war zone almost, but it's when you get down to it in the end and it's cleaned up, it's, it's just an amazing the transformation that's happened. This has been an excellent exercise in certain ways in terms of learning how to become very efficient at construction and process around that. Um, and now we're taking that into the new areas that we're building to. Um, and you know that will really serve us well as we uh, start to build out even into more areas of Holly Springs. And you know, you'll never learn as much as the first time. So I think you know, we'll always be remembering Holly Springs. I love the name, ting! <laughs> it just gets me. It gets me right where it is. And uh, I think the town obviously supports this project, and uh, we're here to do that today. And when you get to 12 Oaks, give me a call. 12 Oaks. Yes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>